I think there is one kind of object out there which was clearly not created ever, and they are mathematical objects, like the cube. I'm not talking about a sugar cube or a particularly physical cube here, but just the mathematical object known as the mathematicians as the cube, or the dodecahedron, or the sphere, or a vector space, or whatnot. These concepts clearly exist outside of space and time. The cube wasn't created 14 billion years ago, right? And yet you still feel that it exists in the sense that it's not like we invented the cube. The whole idea that there could be a cube is very not, not arbitrary at all. And what's interesting would be is that if there had never been a universe, if there had yeah. never been anything, yes. that those things, the possibility of having them would still exist because the concept would be there, even if there was no physical universe ever. Is that right? Right. I totally believe that. An idea which started haunting me back in grad school was whether, in fact, that kind of existence, which doesn't require an explanation, could be the same kind of existence as our physical world. And what's so beautiful about these mathematical objects is that they exist outside of space and time. There's no time element, so they never needed to pop into existence, uh -huh, right? Uh -huh. Our entire physical universe can also be thought of a four-dimensional space-time, as Einstein pointed out. If you think of space as time, time is just the fourth dimension, we just have another four-dimensional shape here, which could then exist without ever being created outside of, of space and time. If this is true, what I think it means is that the universe really is completely mathematical, and we've just sort of uncovered that bit by bit. Because it would seem to be the case that if there is a God or if there is no God, that mathematics would be there anyway. This is a problem, I have to tell you, the theists wrestle with. Because if they want to have God creating everything, what do they do with mathematics? It's also a fascinating question to think, you know, could mathematics itself somehow be different? That somehow pi could be any different than 3.14, right? And if there's no choice in how, then what does it really mean to create something, right? If there's only one way you can do it, just press, and then all the creator would have to do is press this one button. <laughs> because all the math was already there, it just... It can only be created in one way. There are no knobs in math that you can adjust. You can't redial pi to be something else. Yeah, right? but, but I guess you, you can choose a certain, maybe, category of mathematics to to actualize. There might have been a lot sure. of different mathematical worlds of sorts and then you can actualize one of them. And I believe that that's actually the case, but that they're all actualized in exactly the same way. And, and well, you we say that very casually, but that's right, quite, quite a statement, my friend. <laughs> well, but if I take seriously the consequences of what I'm saying here, that's exactly what it implies. Right? But I, I think you, you do believe in a, that the external reality we have is, is true. I mean, there is a real external reality, right? Yeah, and if you believe that really reality exists independent of us, mm -hmm. if you take that seriously, then what kind of description could that reality really have? It can't be a description in English, right? The, oh, because we made, the humans made that up. Right, right. The only kind of description we know, which is independent of us humans, is the description of mathematics. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It is our universe. We are simply living inside of a mathematical object. It doesn't need to be created by anything. And you believe this really, not just for the fun of a late night bull session? I do believe in that it's extra fun to believe in things which irritate my colleagues, and this one certainly does. But frankly, no, I really do believe that this is the case also.